Well, howdy. I am Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and the focus of this video is on quick draw pens. Basically, pens that you can quickly uncap and start writing when you need to write something down lickety split. And the best pens for that are ones that are snap caps or click retractable. So I've assembled a list here with the help of my wonderful team of coming up with some of the best quick draw pens that you can get. The first one on the list is the Monteverde Limonada. This is the least expensive pen on the list. It's a small body, very thin pen, generally lightweight, but it's metal, so it's very sturdy. It posts a little bit long, but it's still good for small hands because it has a very thin grip section. It comes in multiple colors, but unfortunately, the only nib size that it's available in is medium. And when you're capping and uncapping it, it's got a nice smooth action. The next pen on my list here is the Cross Botanica. This is an extremely functional pen because it's snap cap, it's fairly easy. It pushes on very gently onto the pen. And it's a relatively thin pen, lightweight, little bit cap heavy, but just looking at the pen, it is incredibly gorgeous. Several different finishes available in a really, really unique design that leans a little bit effeminate, but honestly, I'm totally infatuated with this pen. Next pen here is the Lamy Studio. If you have any Lamy pen besides the Lamy 2000, it's going to write the same as that because it uses the same nib and feed mechanism, which is really nice because you can swap your nibs between all those pens. Depending on which model you're getting, you can get either a steel or a 14 karat gold nib on the Studio, so it'll range in price based on the nib between about $80 and $160. But the thing that I really like about the Studio is the very definitive snap that you get when you either are either putting it on the pen or on the back of the pen. It even snaps when you post it. Feels really good when you do it. One drawback to this is the grip can get a little bit slippery, but it's a well-balanced, relatively lightweight pen. I like this next pen, it's the Pilot E95S. And this one's really unique because it's really a pocket pen, so it's a little shorter when it's closed, but when you un uncap it and then you go to post it, it becomes essentially a normal length pen. So it's got a really elongated grip, and it's really unique, so it has a really long, kind of a delayed gratification as you're closing it, but it feels really, really smooth, and it's just got a unique feel as you're opening and closing it than any other pen has. The one thing you want to watch out for as you're doing it, though, is because of the bands that uh, have pressure on the pen as you're sliding the cap on, if you twist it while the pen is closed, it can cause some very fine scratches. So you just want to make sure that you're pulling it on and off in a relatively straight manner. Aside from the cool cap, the nib on this pen is awesome. It's very springy. You can even get a little bit of line variation if you just kind of take it easy. And it's a 14 karat nib, which makes the pen about $136. This next pen is clearly a good choice. The Pilot Prera. It is a demonstrator pen. It is available in different colors, but the color is really just a little bit of tinted color at the ends. Generally, the pen is completely clear, which is pretty cool when you're using a bright colored ink in there. But related specifically to the way that it opens and closes, it has a very satisfying feel to it. It has a little bit of pressure, and then when it finally snaps into place, makes a nice audible sound, and has a very kind of finalized, you know, determined snap as it goes in there. This next pen is the Platinum Balance. Also the Platinum Cool is very similar, different color, but also works too. It's just over $40. And this pen is really interesting when you're capping and uncapping it, especially when you're putting the cap on, because it's very loose, it's kind of hanging on, you're like, I don't know, I don't know if this thing's really gonna snap on. And then when it does, it is absolutely firmly on there and it leaves no question in your mind. This next pen is the Schaefer Cigaris. This comes in a variety of colors, and uh, it's just over $60. It's a very heavy pen, even though it's relatively thin. Um, it feels really weighty, feels like it's got a good build quality to it. And right along with that, as you're snapping the cap onto the pen, it makes you work a little bit for that last half inch or so, but then when you do, it gives a very kind of definitive, almost like a popping sound as you're doing it. It's kind of unique to the rest of these pens. And to bring home the list of quick draw pens here, I have the sheriff in town, the Doc Holiday of quick draw pens, the Pilot Vanishing Point. You can quickly draw and holster your fountain pen nib out of this thing with one hand, write a quick note, put it back in very easily. It's available in lots of different finishes. It starts at $140 and goes up from there. And the one that I have featured here is this sweet wood pen that kind of looks like some kind of Western driftwood or something like that but it's available with an 18 karat nib, great writer, all around fantastic pen. 
So that's my list of quick draw pens. I'd love to know what you think. Leave some comments on the blog or on YouTube. You can check out all these pens with more detailed information on GouletPens.com. And if you like this video and would Mike more like it, just quick draw over to that subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and right on.